Well, I think again, you know, it's it's sort of on this theme again about letting go of these dreams that we have. Um, when we're pregnant with our children or we're about to adopt a child, I, I think if I asked, I mean, if I really had were honest with myself and people that I asked, we we create scenarios. We have like Kodak moments in your mind. You know, I, I remember thinking that um, I was going to go back to uh, graduate school when my idea was when Andrew was born, I was going to go back to graduate school. He was going to be a pack on my back. And we would be these little buddies and he would end up loving learning and reading as much as me and on and on and on and on. It did not happen that way. Um, I mean, the irony is that he was not able to do any of that. And I was not able to pursue that dream at that time. So, um, but just like we were talking about before about grieving, it being a necessary and automatic process is what we're losing is the dream of what our child's life was going to be like and also what our life is going to be like. It is about us too. We have ideas about what the life we're going to live is going to be. And I think when people talk about how to grieve, grieving isn't just crying. It's about saying, this is what I wanted. This is what I hoped and dreamed for. And before I can say, I'm fully planted and creating these new dreams for this person, let me feel really, really sad and take a dive in for just a, a moment or however long you need to of what I've lost. I've lost the idea of what my future was going to look like. And then it's kind of like the landscape is empty and you reach over and you take one brick and you put it down and you take another brick and you put it down and you start to build a new future. But, detect, but, but grieving that lost perceived future is a really important component. 